So, with a heavy, very heavy heart, I request you all to please be a stand and keep silence for two minutes to mourn the day, day of two senior geographers of the country. Sir, please be sure to stand up. धन्यवाद ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति थैंक यू आई नाउ इनवाइट प्रोफेसर खान मैडम फॉर्मर प्रोफेसर एंड हेड स्कूल ऑफ स्टडीज इन जोग्राफी डॉक्टर रविशंकर शुक्ला यूनिवर्सिटी रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ टू प्रपोज वेलकम एड्रेस प्रोफेसर खान मैडम प्लीज मैडम मैडम खान प्लीज अनम्यूट योर आर नॉट अनबल जी सर अगेन मैडम यू आर नॉट ऑडियोबल मैडम खान का माइक बंद है खुलवाइए हेलो आ रही सर आवाज यस नाउ इट इज ऑनलाइन यस मैडम यस आ रही है आपकी आवाज आ रही थैंक यू गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू द 39th एपिसोड of the online lecture series on founders and makers of modern geography in india i am dr zakia tasnim khan former professor and head of school of studies in geography and former dean of science faculty pandit ravi shankar shukla university raipur chatisgarh india on behalf of the institute for environmental research and rural development patna bihar india i would like to thank all the delegates and guests present here virtually to grace the meet today's lecture is devoted on founders and makers of modern geography in pandit ravi shankar shukla university raipur chatisgarh india <coughs> on our revered professor dr p c agarwal professor and founder head school of studies in geography 
पंडित रविशंकर शुक्ला यूनिवर्सिटी रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ इंडिया आई एम प्रोफाउंडली जॉयस एंड ऑनर्ड टू हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ऑस्पिशियस ओकेजन ऑफ दिस ऑनलाइन मीट I am delighted to welcome Professor V C Jha, the President of the Institute, former Vice Chancellor of the T M B University, Bhagalpur, Bihar, India, and former Director of NATMO, D S T, Kolkata, and former Professor and Head Department of Geography, Vishwa Bharati Shanti Niketan, West Bengal. My warm welcome to Professor. S V Chavan, the convener of the meet, former professor and head, Department of Geography, University of Mumbai, Maharashtra, India, president of the Bombay Geographical Association. I am honoured to address our esteemed chief guest, Professor Pravin Saptarishi, UGC Emeritus Professor, former professor and head. Department of Environmental Science, Savitri Bai Phule, Pune University, Pune, Maharashtra, India, to present here virtually to make this day ever more special. Our distinguished guest, Professor R. C. Bhusa, Emeritus Professor, Department for the Study of Culture and Society, Drake University, Des Moines, Iowa, USA. I hearty welcome you sir my warm welcome to today's speakers dr sarla sharma former professor and head school of studies in geography pandit ravi shankar shukla university raipur professor emeritus dr v k shrivastav former professor and head of geography pandit din dayal upadhyay university gorakhpur up india Professor Emeritus Dr. Shri Kamal Sharma, former professor and head, Department of General and Applied Geography, Dr. H. S. Gaur University, Sagar, MP, India. My profound gratitude to both of you, sir. I hearty welcome our guest of honor, Professor Nandini C. Singh, professor and head, and Dean F. F. S. Rajiv Gandhi University. Itta Nagar, Arunachal Pradesh, India, and Professor Vijayan, former professor and head, Department of Geography, Kannur University, Kerala, India. My regards and welcome to our special guest, Professor Ataur Rahman, professor and chairman, Department of Geography and Geomatics, University of Peshawar, Pakistan. Professor U K Mandal. Head of Department, Central Department of Geography, Sri Bhuvan University, Kathmandu, Nepal. Professor M S Islam, Professor and Chairman, Department of Geography and Environment, Dhaka University, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Professor A G Amar Singhe, Professor and Head, Department of Geography, University of Kilaniya, Dalu Gama, Sri Lanka. my heartiest welcome to you all sir. i hearty welcome dr uma gole professor and head school of studies in geography pandit ravi shankar shukla university raipur who will tender the vote of thanks and dr kaveri dabarkar assistant professor government bilasa girls college autonomous college bilaspur chatisgarh for national anthem my warm welcome to the entire organizing committee the intercessor of the meet professor dp singh director researches institute for environmental researches and rural development patna bihar the organizing secretaries dr ambarish kumar rai assistant professor department of geography veer kumar singh university arra bihar and dr amit kumar assistant professor and head munger university bihar by their efforts this event could see the light of the day i congratulate them all for their contribution and dedication
Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. I would like to say some words about my revered professor, P. C. Agrawal. <laughs> Please, madam, if sure, I have with president's permission, we can go ahead, madam. Thank you. Yes, yes. Please, a few words. As regards my revered teacher, Professor P. C. Agrawal, I would like to express my tributes and gratitudes. Dr. Agrawal was an excellent personality with a very good repute. He was extremely gentle and kind, very simple, disciplined, serious, honest, and fair. His style of work was ex exemplary. He was very affectionate to his students and colleagues. His patience was uncomparable. He never replied to his detractors, but was friendly to them. He was always satisfied, whatever he had, no greed for money or status. I am proud to be a student of such a virtuous person. I was awarded my PhD degree on Bilaspur of study in urban geography under his kind supervision in 1982 and joined my services under his kind headship in 1983 and worked under him till his superannuation in 1988. It's a memorable time of my life. I pray again and again to the Almighty for his noble soul to rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, madam. You are really blessed to be associated on this platform and say a few words in honor of your guide, Dr. Agarwal sir. Uh, with uh, permission from the president, Professor V.C. Jasser, yes. I would uh, like to introduce today on this platform our president of the session, Jasser, chief guest, Dr. Praveen Saptarshi sir, and the speaker, Sarla Sharma madam. May I go ahead, sir? Yes, please. Thank you so much. We are really honored to have with us as the president of the session, Professor Dr. Vibhash Chandra Jha, sir, Professor of Geography, born in 1958 and studied B.Sc. with Geology, <coughs> Geography and Chemistry. M.Sc. in Geography with first class first and PhD in Geography from Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. He is a renowned geographer. So specialization in geomorphology, cultural geography, geography of Buddhism, geoinformatics, and geospatial technology. He is visitor's nominee in the Academic Council of Neo Shillong. Professor Jha's administrative performance as Vice Chancellor of TM Bhagalpur University, Chairman of the Editorial Board of Indian Cartographer, the Journal of Inca, as chairperson in NAC <coughs> visits to colleges of various states in Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tripura, Kashmir, and Madhya Pradesh, as well as Vice President of NAC. Sir has rendered his best as Vice President of the NAGI. Sir has been associated as strong pillar of these founders and makers of modern geography in India for many episodes as chairperson, key speaker, and moderator. Sir has given his expertise as a member for committee of compilation and verification of data at World Heritage Vishwa Bharti. As member of school board of School of Earth Sciences, Central University of Tamil Nadu, Tiruvarun. Professor Zha has also been principal Dean at Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences, Vishwa Bharti, a central university at Shantiniketan. Professor Jha has to his credit total 42 years of teaching and research experience and as a professor of geography for 24 years at Vidya Bhavan, Vishwa Bharti, a central university at Shantiniketan and also served here as registrar and finance officer. Prior to joining Vishwa Bharti University, he worked as a scientist engineer for the National Remote Sensing Agency Hyderabad, hosted at IRR Dehradun. He received the Baba Atomic Research Center Research Fellowship in Geology 
for his doctorate degree in geomorphology. Dr. Zha was awarded second place in the International Photo Geomorphological Contest at McMaster University, Hamilton in Canada, 1993. Professor Jha, sir, has enormous experience in institution building and has served in various positions like coordinator for the project team from India side on India Asian Archaeological Atlas from satellite data, connectivity of regional culture, finite root and infinite values, a joint venture between India and Thailand aiming at strengthening bilateral relations between the Asian nations in the field of science and technology. This project included the thematic mapping and descriptions of the Buddhist sites of the nations, namely India, Indonesia, Myanmar, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Laos, and Cambodia. Dr. Zha was a member of the Government of India National Delegation of the Ministry of Science and Technology to Thailand in December 2012, 2013, and 2014, and worked as head of the Department of Geography at Vishwabharati University for years. Chairman for 11th Plan Task Force, Professor in Charge of Planning and Development Board, Vishwabharati. Professor Zha, sir, was the President of INCA in 2016 and Vice President of the INCA for 2012-2015. Sir was also member of executive body of the National Special Data Infrastructure (NSDAP) and Natural Disaster Management Authority, Government of India. <laughs> Professor Zha was a president of the Indian Institute of Geomorphologists, vice president of the IIG, and joint secretary of IIG. A full member of the International Geographical Union Commission on Land Degradation and Desertification. Dr. Zha visited International Center for Theoretical Physics, Trist, Italy, as a special participant at the workshop conference. Sir participated in 4th and 5th International Conference on Geomorphology at Bologna, Italy, and Tokyo in Japan, as well as national delegate, respectively. Professor Zha was also the EC member of the International Association of <coughs> Geomorphologists. He has published when he has published 21 research scholars with their PhD degrees under his supervision. Has produced 146 research papers and 85 maps, atlases, monographs in that book to his credit. Sir is author of a research monograph on Himalayan geomorphology and edited books on geomorphology and remote sensing, land degradation and desertification, and cartography. Desertification and climate change, two volumes. Sir is well trained in cartography, GIS, GPS, and remote sensing, and is coordinator of the remote sensing unit, Department of Geography at Vishwa Bharti University. Sir is also member of the advisory committee of the UGC DSP, DRS SAP program in Kolkata, Burdwan University, and expert member in various academic bodies of different universities and DSP. Particular mention may be made of members of the R&D Expert Committee on Earth Sciences, including Geoinformatics in Department of DST and Biotechnology, Government West Bengal. Member of Expert Committee for preparing a document for the West Bengal State on Geospatial Policy. His research interests are spatiotemporal analysis and assessment of geomorphological hazards, <coughs> evaluation, morphometric analysis, of drainage basin in relation to erosion survey, land degradation and desertification in tropical lands, engineering geomorphology and landscape ecology. Professor Zhasar has traveled widely to Hungary, Italy, Vatican City, Austria, Germany, Kenya, Canada, USA, Thailand, and Japan for various seminars, conferences, and workshops. So, so much happy and great to have you, uh, so renowned geographer and yet very down to earth, giving us various guidance on different occasions. Thank you so much, sir, for joining here as president. Of the Thank you so much. Thank you very much, professor. Thank you very much for your kind. My, my pleasure, sir, and I'm honored and it's a pride for all of us. We are also happy and pleased to have with us another most renowned geographer as chief guest of the session, 
प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर प्रवीण जे सप्तर्षी सर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर प्रवीण सप्तर्षी इज चेयरमैन ऑफ महाराष्ट्र भूगोल शास्त्र परिषद पंजा जोग्राफर्स एसोसिएशन एंड कॉलेज डेवलपमेंट कमिटी राष्ट्रपिता महात्मा गांधी महाविद्यालय He is also president and managing trustee of Indian Institute for Social Development and Research. More than 50 PhD students, more than 20 research projects, and 200 plus published research papers mark his academic achievements of excellence. Most of his research works show relevance to contemporary social issues, inclusive idea of development, growth based on human and natural resources, with focus on well-being of. bottom of pyramid and protection of livelihood resources meant for down trodden people according to pravin saptarshi sir environmental protection is based on healthy democracy social and economic policies along with political economies across the world he is against predators capitalism which has created environmental issues making life of common people more and more miserable So teaching career started about 52 years ago in 1971 and yet he is very active in academics in administration as well as his various conservation programs besides guiding research scholars teachers graduate students and public in general so various positions like a department of environmental sciences at savitri bai phule pune university pune ugc emeritus fellow at savitri bai phule university pune university a department of geography at sp college pune emeritus professor in sustainability management and in research pune and visiting professor at salisbury university maryland united states sir has been a member of board of studies and research and recognition committee at universities in maharashtra and other states sir has authored about 20 books as well as received best teacher award from savitri bai phule pune university pune corporation and several other organizations sir's academic interactions in the form of keynote addresses inaugural speeches invited lectures spans across geographies including austria bolivia peru USA Netherlands Germany Sweden UK and Sri Lanka so social and political activism in justice perpetrated by the state started early from his college days and has resulted in imprisonment on several occasions sir thank you so much for associating on this platform and always guiding on various occasions and we are blessed to have you here in this episode thank you dr pravin saptarshi sir i would now like to introduce our today's speaker dr sarla sharma madam sarla sharma professor and excelled who has passed her ma geography with merit in 1977 she was awarded phd in geography from ravi shankar university in 1983 on population pattern and problems in madhya pradesh completed her research work under the guidance of renowned geographer dr p c agrawal she joined the department in 1988 as lecturer and then as reader in 1998 to become professor in 2006 dr sharma madam has three books to her credit audyogik nagro mein janasankhya apravas and dakshin mahanadi basin mein gramin shishu uh, matratva and nagriya shishu matriya martriyartha she has 100 research papers in reputed journals and edited books her field of specialization is geography of population social geography agricultural geography and nutrition she has successfully guided 23 phd and five students are working under her besides 90 mphil students for dissertation 
she has carried out one research project with self finance assistance one minor research project sponsored by ugc and two major research projects first is chatisgarh ke nagro mein shishu mat matra mat yart sponsored by ugc and second chatisgarh a geographical analysis of occupational pattern and quality of life of working women in cities of chatisgarh sponsored by icssr dr sharma madam has actively participated in 18 international and 84 national conferences she has been cocked executive member of nagi three times vice president of nagi and member of executive council in iig and nagi dr sharma has also is, is also ugc observer committee panel of jrf net since 2010 madam has organized national workshop as convener and in 2014 major achievements has given her awards of shiksha ratna puraskar by iif new delhi the best citizens of india award by international publishing house new delhi geography teacher award during 9 dgsi international geography conference and eminent scientist of the year award by scientific and environmental research institute kolkata as well as distinguished scientist award by international foundation for environment and ecology kolkata bharat excellence award by friendship forum new delhi and lifetime achievement in humanities and social sciences for the contribution and achievement in the field of geography by venus international foundation chennai tamil nadu and bharat shiromani award by bharat shiromani institute of new delhi madam thank you so much for accepting the invitation as speaker of today's episode uh, with due permission of president professor vijay vc jasa may i now invite professor sarla sharma madam to deliver today's address yes please now please invite the speaker namaskar main sarla sharma पंडित रविशंकर शुक्ला यूनिवर्सिटी आज फाउंडर्स एंड मेकर्स ऑफ मॉडर्न ज्योग्राफी इन इंडिया के इस थर्टी नाइन्थ एपिसोड के लेक्चर सीरीज में मैं आप सभी को सादर नमस्कार करती हूं। आज के इस व्याख्यान श्रृंखला के प्रेसिडेंट प्रोफेसर वी सी झा कन्वीनर प्रोफेसर एस वी चाउन मुंबई चीफ गेस्ट प्रोफेसर प्रवीण सप्रीसि पुणे विशेष अतिथि प्रोफेसर आर सी धुस्सा यूएसए प्रोफेसर नंदिनी सी ईटानगर प्रोफेसर विजयन कन्नूर प्रोफेसर रहमान पाकिस्तान प्रोफेसर यू के मंडल नेपाल प्रोफेसर एम एस इस्लाम बांग्लादेश प्रोफेसर जी अमर सिंह श्रीलंका डॉक्टर जे टी खान एवं डॉक्टर उमा गोले रायपुर प्रोफेसर डी पी सिंह आयोजक अम्बरीश कुमार राय सचिव इस कार्यक्रम से संबंध मेरे सभी आदरणीय वरिष्ठ भूगोलविद भूगोल के प्राध्यापक गण शोध छात्र एवं छात्राओं आज व्याख्यान आरंभ करने से पूर्व मैं सर्वप्रथम फाउंडर्स एंड मेकर्स ऑफ जोग्राफिक इंडिया के आयोजकों विशेष रूप से प्रोफेसर डी पी सिंह एवं उनके टीम को अपना हार्दिक आभार व्यक्त करना चाहूंगी जिन्होंने मुझे मेरे श्रद्धे गुरु आदरणीय प्रोफेसर पी सी अग्रवाल के व्यक्तित्व को मेरी नजरों से एवं भूगोल वेताओं की नजरों से प्रस्तुत करने का अवसर प्रदान किया मैं आज आदरणीय प्रोफेसर पी सी अग्रवाल के व्यक्तित्व को आपके समक्ष प्रस्तुत करते हुए अत्यंत गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रही हूँ मैं अपने गुरु आदरणीय पी सी अग्रवाल जी को सादर नमन करती हूँ और उनके उनके अपने व्याख्यान द्वारा उन्हें श्रद्धा सुमन अर्पित करती हूँ आदरणीय प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल सर न केवल छत्तीसगढ़ अपितु भारतवर्ष के भी प्रमुख भूगोलविदों में से एक थे आपका व्यक्तित्व जहाँ सफल शिक्षक एवं शोध निदेशक के रूप में उत्कृष्ट कोटि का रहा वहीं व्यवहारिक तथ्यों में भी प्रेरणात्मक 
एवं अनुकरणी रहा प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल का व्यक्तित्व छात्रों एवं सहकर्मियों के लिए भी उतना ही अर्पणी था जितना वे अपने सहकर्मियों एवं सो छात्रों को स्नेही करते थे वे एक गृहस्थ योगी थे अत्यंत भद्र गंभीर अनुशासन प्रिय सौम्य सरल ईमानदार निष्पक्ष हर्ष एवं विषाद में संभाव निंदा एवं स्तुति दोनों से परे व्यक्तित्व के धनी प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल सर को मैं सादर नमन करती हूँ आपका डिसिप्लिन इतना अधिक आपके व्यक्तित्व और आपके विभाग में अनुकरणी था कि आप प्रतिदिन दस बज के पच्चीस मिनट को सुबह विभाग आ जाते थे और शाम साढ़े पांच बजे के बाद विभाग से घर आते थे उनके कार्यकाल में विभागीय व्यवस्था समय पर एवं सुचारू रूप से क्रियान्वित होती थी उनका अध्यापन या अध्ययन के नोट्स आज भी उनके छात्र अपनी छात्राओं को पढ़ाते हैं वे सभी का सम्मान करते थे कभी उनको मैंने नाराज होते नहीं देखा इस, इस बात की मुझे बहुत ही खुशी है कि सर हमेशा अपनी सभी की बातों को बड़ी शालीनता से सुनते थे और समस्या का हल भी बड़ी धीरजता से एवं शांत होकर सहजता से करते थे अपने कर्तव्य में वे कभी भी अपनी पर पारिवारिक कठिनाइयों को बाधक नहीं बनाते थे इस इस संदर्भ में मेरे एक अनुभव मैं आप लोगों से शेयर करना चाहूंगी कि वर्ष नाइनटीन एटी थ्री में जब मेरा पीएचडी वर्क बहुत ही कम्पटिशन में था मेरा टाइपिंग पूरा हो चुका था और मुझे सर के सर्टिफिकेट की जरूरत थी हेड और सुपरवाइजर के रूप में उस समय मैं माना में हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल में लेक्चरर थी और मैं सर से सर्टिफिकेट लेने के लिए जब विभाग आई तब मुझे पता चला कि सर के पिताजी की तबीयत बहुत ही खराब है और बहुत ही नाजुक स्थिति में है मुझे पता चलते ही मैं सीधे अस्पताल पहुंची और वहां जब मैं सर से मिली तो सर ने इतनी विषम स्थिति में भी मुझसे मेरे पी के बारे में पूछा और कहा कि आपका काम पूरा हो गया क्या मैंने हाँ कहने पर सर ने तुरंत ही अस्पताल में ही मुझे दोनों सर्टिफिकेट देते हुए कहा कि इसे रख लो और अपना काम पूरा करो मेरी आंखों में आंसू भर आए सर ने मुझे बहुत ही स्नेही रूप से कहा मुझे पता था कि आप यहाँ अवश्य आएंगी इसलिए मैं इसे अपनी साथ यहाँ ले आया अपने माता पिता की सेवा करते हुए और अपने पिता की गंभीर अस्वस्थता के बाद भी प्रोफेसर सर ने मेरी आवश्यकता को ध्यान में रखा यह मेरे लिए अनुकरणी था दो दिनों के बाद सर के पिताजी की मृत्यु हो गई उस समय मेरी थीसिस बाइंड होके आ चुकी थी और मुझे सर के हस्ताक्षर की जरूरत थी मैं बहुत असमंजस में थी परंतु जब मैं सर के पास गई तो उन्होंने मुझे कहा कि आपकी थीसिस यहाँ ले आइए मैं यहाँ साइन कर दूंगा और सील आप विभाग में जाकर लगवा लीजिए ऐसे गुरु को पाकर मैं बहुत धन्य हो गई उनके इस व्यक्तित्व से मैं इतना प्रभावित हुई कि मैं कभी भी अपने छात्रों को अपने पारिवारिक कष्टों में परेशान नहीं होने दिया और हमेशा उनके जैसे ही स्नेह बनकर अपने छात्रों का मार्गदर्शन करती हूँ प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल हमेशा अपने अध्यापन एवं शोध कार्य में संलग्न होते थे उनके अध्ययन एवं अध्यापन में विशेष रुचि छात्रों का उत्साह वर्धन के लिए प्रेरित करता था उनकी कक्षा को कभी कोई छात्र मिस नहीं करता था प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल अपने छात्रों का हमेशा उत्साह वर्धन करते थे साथ ही अपने सहकर्मियों का भी मार्गदर्शन एवं उत्साह वर्धन करते थे जिनमें प्रोफेसर एच एस गुप्ता सर प्रोफेसर एम पी गुप्ता सर प्रोफेसर जेड टी खान और प्रोफेसर सरला शर्मा विशेष उल्लेखनीय है आपके विद्यार्थी न केवल छत्तीसगढ़ में अपितु भारत के विभिन्न राज्यों में महत्वपूर्ण पदों पर आसीन है और आज भी कार्यरत है भारत के प्रसिद्ध भूगोलवेता आदरणीय प्रोफेसर पीसी अग्रवाल का पूरा नाम प्रेमचंद अग्रवाल था आपका जन्म उत्तर प्रदेश के इलाहाबाद के पास स्थित ग्राम अहरोरा में 16 अक्टूबर 1927 सिक्सटीन अक्टूबर 1927 में हुआ आपके पिता का नाम राजेंद्र प्रसाद अग्रवाल व माता का नाम कर्णवती अग्रवाल था आप अपने माता पिता के इकलौती संतान थे इसलिए आपका लालन पालन बहुत ही दुलार एवं प्यार से हुआ आप अपने माता पिता से 
भावनात्मक रूप से इतने अधिक जुड़े हुए थे कि उन्होंने माता पिता को कभी भी अपने से अलग नहीं रखा वर्ष 1952 में 26 वर्ष की आयु में आपका विवाह मैडम कमला अग्रवाल से संपन्न हुआ आपके ससुर राजनाथ गर्ग इलाहाबाद में गर्ग प्रकाशन के संस्थापक थे जिसमें हिंदी के प्रसिद्ध कवियों और लेखकों के लेखन का प्रकाशन किया जाता था मैडम कमला अग्रवाल का जन्म 1931 में हुआ और बचपन से आप पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू के आवास के पड़ोस में बीता वर्ष 1951 में मैडम कमला अग्रवाल ने इलाहाबाद विश्वविद्यालय से अंग्रेजी में एम तथा वर्ष सिक्सटी टू में एम किया मैडम कमला अग्रवाल एल एवं साहित्य रत्न भी थी इस प्रकार मैडम कमला अग्रवाल का व्यक्तित्व भी बहुत प्रभावशाली रहा उन्होंने इलाहाबाद विश्वविद्यालय से संबद्ध कुछ कॉलेजों में अंग्रेजी की लेक्चरर की लेक्चररशिप भी की प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल के व्यक्तित्व में मैडम के आने से और अधिक निखार हुआ साथ ही सर ने भी मैडम को उनकी दक्षता को उभारने में अपना सहयोग प्रदान किया आप दोनों ने एक दूसरे के व्यक्तित्व को उन्नत करने में प्रेरणात्मक सहयोग प्रदान किया इसी का एक उदाहरण यह है कि मैडम जब सर के साथ सागर आई तब प्रोफेसर तब तब सर ने प्रोफेसर बाबूलाल सक्सेना के निर्देशन में मैडम का शोध कार्य का पंचन कराया यद्यपि कुछ पारिवारिक जिम्मेदारी बढ़ने के कारण मैडम अपना शोध कार्य पूर्ण नहीं कर पाई किंतु उन्होंने गृह कार्मिक समय निकालकर अंग्रेजी साहित्य एवं शिक्षण से संबंधित कुछ पुस्तकों का लेखन कार्य भी किया मैडम अग्रवाल सरल एवं मृदुभाषी महिला थी जिसे रविशंकर शुक्ल विश्वविद्यालय परिवार हमेशा याद रखता है अपनी धारा प्रभाव अंग्रेजी के लिए वे हमेशा याद की जाती हैं। मैडम कमला अग्रवाल ने प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल के देसी विदेशी प्राध्यापकों को अपने आतिथ्य से हमेशा प्रभावित किया उनकी मिलनसारिता एवं सौगात्मक व्यवहार विश्वविद्यालय परिसर में प्रेरणात्मक एवं अनुकरणीय रूप में स्मरण किया जाता है अपने पारिवारिक दायित्व के निर्वहन के साथ अपने पति प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल को विश्वविद्यालय शिक्षण कार्य शोध कार्य एवं शोध निर्देशन के साथ लेखन कार्य में भी न केवल पर्याप्त समय दिया अपितु हम सफर के रूप में भी हमेशा प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल के सृजनात्मक व्यक्तित्व के निर्माण में भी अग्रसर रही प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल के साथ सुखद दाम्पत्य जीवन का निर्वाह करते हुए उन्होंने प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल को तीन पुत्रों के पिता से अलंकृत किया प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल का प्रथम पुत्र प्रथम पुत्र यहाँ पर फैमिली बैकग्राउंड में उनके फोटो मैंने लगाए हुए हैं जो मुझे उनके पुत्र शरद अग्रवाल से प्राप्त हुआ उनके तीन पुत्रों में प्रथम पुत्र जो राइट साइड से हैं प्रभात का जन्म 1954 में तृतीय पुत्र शरद अग्रवाल 1958 बीच में है और तृतीय पुत्र नीरज का जन्म 1964 में हुआ यहाँ पर उनके तीनों बेटों के साथ उनकी तीनों पुत्र वधुओं का भी पिक्चर है इस प्रकार प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल ने अपने तीनों पुत्रों की शिक्षा का भार मैडम अग्रवाल के सहयोग से प्रारंभ किया मैडम अग्रवाल का एवं मैडम मैडम अग्रवाल ने और प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल सर में आपसी समझदारी इतनी अधिक थी कि इनमें कभी विवाद होने का प्रश्न ही नहीं होता था आप दोनों ने मिलकर अपने पुत्रों को उनके बौद्धिक स्तर के अनुरूप उच्च शिक्षा देकर श्रेष्ठ व्यक्तित्व का निर्माण किया मैडम कमला अग्रवाल ने 49 वर्ष का सुखद वैवाहिक जीवन के साथ सर की हमसफर बनी वर्ष 2001 में मैडम का लंबी अस्वस्थता के बाद दुखद निधन हो गया यहाँ पर मैं अपना मैडम अग्रवाल के साथ अपने शोध कार्य के दौरान जो अनुभव है उसे आपसे शेयर करना चाहूंगी मैडम मुझे हमेशा अपनी बेटी मानती थी और अपनी सभी बातें दुख सुख मुझसे शेयर करती थी सर का मेरे परिवार से बहुत अधिक अंतरंग था मेरे पिताजी से वो हमेशा लंबी बातें करते थे और मेरी छोटी बहनें भी सर से बहुत अधिक फ्री बातें करती थी मैं मैडम से ज्यादा फ्री थी वे मुझे हमेशा अपने रसोई घर में ले जाती और वहां रसोई से संबंधित पकवानों भोजन की भी रेसिपी की बातें करती हम लोग उनके बेटे बहू के चैन में भी मैडम ने हमेशा मुझसे सलाह मशरा लिया इस प्रकार मैडम हमेशा मेरे को अपनी एक छोटी बेटी के रूप में मानती रही हैं। मैं मैडम 
कमला अग्रवाल को अपना सादा विनम्र श्रद्धांजलि प्रेषित करती हूँ मैंने अपने व्यक्तित्व में मैडम अग्रवाल की कही हुई कई बातों को आत्मसात किया है उनका हास्मो एवं मिलनसार व्यक्तित्व मेरे लिए हमेशा प्रेरणात्मक रूप में मार्गदर्शक रहा अब मैं आपके समक्ष आदरणीय प्रोफेसर पी सी अग्रवाल के एकेडमिक एंड उनके बाल्यकाल से के व्यक्तित्व को प्रस्तुत करती हूँ प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल का बाल्यकाल एक एवं छात्र जीवन की शुरुआत इलाहाबाद जिले के सिरसा नगर से हुआ आपने अपनी प्रारंभिक इंटरमीडिएट की शिक्षा सिरसा से पूर्ण किया इसके बाद आप उच्च शिक्षा प्राप्त करने के लिए इलाहाबाद आ गए यहाँ आपने एयरिंग क्रिश्चियन कॉलेज से भूल गणित एवं अंग्रेजी विषय लेकर बी में स्नातक की उपाधि प्राप्त किया इसके बाद स्नातकोत्तर की शिक्षा प्राप्त करने के लिए आपने इलाहाबाद विश्वविद्यालय में प्रवेश लिया वर्ष 1948 में आपने भूगोल विषय में एम ए प्रथम श्रेणी में उत्तीर्ण किया आप इलाहाबाद विश्वविद्यालय के भूगोल विभाग के प्रमुख बैच के एम ए छात्र रहे एम के बाद आप शोध कार्य के लिए वर्ष 1949 में भूगोल विभाग के विभाध्यक्ष प्रोफेसर दुबे के मार्गदर्शन में पी हेतु पंजीकृत हुए किंतु कुछ व्यक्तिगत कारणों से वे अपना शोध कार्य पूर्ण नहीं कर सके वर्ष 1956 में प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल डॉक्टर हरि सिंह गौर विश्वविद्यालय सागर के भूगोल में विभाग में सहायक प्राध्यापक नियुक्त हुए सागर में प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल को डॉक्टर गेयर का सानिध्य प्राप्त हुआ जो लंदन से डेपुटेशन में डॉक्टर हरि सिंह गौर विश्वविद्यालय के भूगोल विभाग में कार्यरत थे आपके सानिध्य में आपके मार्ग निर्देशन में प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल पीएचडी हेतु पंजीकृत हुए किंतु कुछ समय पश्चात प्रोफेसर गियर वापस लंदन चले गए इसके कारण प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल वहीं भूगोल विभाग के प्रोफेसर एस एम अली के शोध निर्देशन में अपना शोध कार्य आरंभ किया और पूर्ण किया आपने ह्यूमन जोग्राफी ऑफ बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट पर अपना शोध कार्य पूर्ण किया वर्ष नाइनटीन में प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल ने पीएचडी को उपाधि प्राप्त की इस प्रकार प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल का अध्यापन कार्य एवं शोध कार्य दोनों सागर विश्वविद्यालय से प्रारंभ हुआ आपका शोध कार्य बस्तर जैसे दुर्गम क्षेत्र के सूक्ष्म एवं व्यक्तिगत सर्वेक्षण पर आधारित था जिसके लिए आपने बस्तर क्षेत्र में जाकर प्राथमिक आंकड़ों का संकलन किया मानव भूगोल के विभिन्न पहलुओं को प्रस्तुत करने के लिए आप बस्तर क्षेत्र में जाकर गहन क्षेत्रावलोकन किए वर्ष 1955-56 में आप बस्तर के सबसे दुर्गम क्षेत्र अबूझमान के आदिवासी पहाड़ी क्षेत्र में गए और वहां पंद्रह दिनों तक रहकर आपने 240 किलोमीटर की पदयात्रा की और वहां से आपने प्राथमिक जानकारी प्राप्त की आपका शोध प्रबंध बाद में प्रकाशित भी हुआ बस्तर के लिए आपका शोध प्रबंध न केवल महत्वपूर्ण मार्गदर्शक बना वही शोधार्थियों नीति नियोजकों एवं प्रशासकों के लिए भी कारगर साधक सिद्ध हुआ वर्ष 1961-62 में प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल का चयन कनाडा काउंसिल के तहत टोरंटो विश्वविद्यालय में टाउन एंड रीजनल प्लानिंग के स्पेशल प्रशिक्षण के लिए नियुक्त हुआ इसके लिए सर जो है टोरंटो में वन एक वर्ष रहे और उनका ये दुर्लभ चित्र जो मैं आपको प्रस्तुत कर रही हूँ जो वहां टोरंटो से उनके बेटे के द्वारा मुझे प्राप्त हुआ जिसमें सर जो है राइट साइड में खड़े हुए हैं अपने प्रशिक्षण के दौरान जो प्रशिक्षित हैं उनके साथ वर्ष 1965 में यहाँ से प्रशिक्षण प्राणवी के अलावा सर ने प्रोफेसर अगवा ने अपने अकादमिक कार्य के लिए यूएसए कनाडा यूरोप एवं मिस्र के भी कुछ नगरों में गए वर्ष 1965 में प्रोफेसर अग, प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल पंडित रविशंकर शुक्ल विश्वविद्यालय के भूगोल विभाग के संस्थापक अध्यक्ष के रूप में नियुक्त हुए आप वर्ष 1965-74 तक विभाग में रीडर एवं विभाध्यक्ष तथा 1974 से 88 तक सेवा निवृत्त तक प्रोफेसर विभाध्यक्ष रहे इस प्रकार आपने पंडित रविशंकर शुक्ल विश्वविद्यालय रायपुर के भूगोल विभाग में 33 वर्षों का अध्यापन एवं शोध का का सृजनात्मक सहयोग प्रदान किया आप इस बीच में रविशंकर शुक्ल विश्वविद्यालय के डीएसडब्ल्यू सोशल 
साइंस के डीन सोशल साइंस के डीन भी रहे और डीएसडब्ल्यू छात्र कल्याण स्थाता भी रहे आपके नेतृत्व में पंडित रविशंकर शुक्ल विद्यालय का भोल विभाग उन्नत एवं समृद्ध हुआ आपने वर्ष 1976 में भूगोल विभाग में एम का एक वर्षीय पाठ्यक्रम आरंभ किया जिससे छात्रों को शोध कार्य के लिए एक नई दिशा एवं मार्ग प्रशस्त हुआ आपने भूगोल विभाग में एम के जनरल कोर्स के साथ साथ एक विशिष्ट पाठ्यक्रम को भी क्रियान्वित किया संचालित किया जिसका मोन उद्देश्य नियोजन प्लानिंग से था और प्लानिंग को ही दृष्टि रखते हुए आपने एक साइड कोर्स चालू किया एग्रीकल्चर एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्लानिंग सेटलमेंट प्लानिंग एंड रीजनल डेवलपमेंट प्लानिंग इस प्रकार के कोर्स से छात्रों को जहां रोजगार में और शोध कार्य में सहयोग मिला वहीं पर एक शोध करने में एक नई दिशा भी मिली आपने शोध छात्रों को हिंदी शोध पत्र लिखने के लिए उत्साहवर्धन करने के लिए छत्तीसगढ़ जोग्राफी काउंसिल एवं इंडियन जोग्राफी एसोसिएशन की स्थापना की जिसके अंतर्गत इंडियन जोग्राफी शोध पत्र का प्रकाशन प्रदान किया जिसके आप चीफ एडिटर रहे इसके अलावा शोध छात्रों के उत्साहवर्धन के लिए आपने कई संगोष्ठी एवं वर्कशॉप का भी सफल आयोजन किया डॉक्टर अग्रवाल 1968 में इक्कीसवीं अंतरराष्ट्रीय भूगोल कांग्रेस आई नई दिल्ली के प्रादेशिक भूगोल खंड के सचिव भी रहे आप इंडो यूएस शोध परियोजना फ्यूल उड सर्वे के तहत रायपुर केंद्र के समन्वयक भी रहे आपके 40 से अधिक शोध पत्र राष्ट्रीय एवं अंतरराष्ट्रीय पत्रकों में प्रकाशित हुए आपने कई पुस्तकों का अथवा पुस्तक अध्यायों में अपना सहयोग कर रचना प्रकाशित किया आपने केंद्र शासन के तकनीकी शब्दावली आयोग के साथ हिंदी शब्दावली की भी रचना की आपके इसी के तहत आपने माउंट एंड माउंट हाउस एंड विलकनसन की अंग्रेजी पुस्तक मैप्स एंड डायग्राम्स का हिंदी अनुवाद किया जो हिंदी ग्रंथ अकादमी भोपाल द्वारा प्रकाशित हुआ और इस पुस्तक का नाम अनुवादित पुस्तक का नाम मानचित एवं आरेख है यह मानचित एवं आरेख हिंदी भाषा के शोध छात्रों के लिए महत्वपूर्ण एवं सार्थक सृजन सिद्ध हुआ आपने सात छात्रों को सफल शोध निर्देशन किया आपके द्वारा शोध कार्यो में प्राथमिक एवं व्यक्तिगत सर्वेक्षण को विशेष महत्व दिया आपका स्पेशलाइजेशन अर्बन जॉग्राफी पॉपुलेशन जॉग्राफी रिसोर्स जॉग्राफी एवं रीजनल डेवलपमेंट प्लानिंग में विशेष था आपके द्वारा आपके सुपरवाइजर में जो सेवन स्टूडेंट्स ने पीएच उपाधि पी उनकी लिस्ट यहाँ पर है जिसमें सबसे पहले स्टूडेंट थे भूतेंद्र कुमार चौबे जिन्होंने द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ भिलाई स्टील प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द टाउन ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ पर कार्य किया और 1972 में आपको पीएचडी की उपाधि प्राप्त हुई आपके सेकंड स्टूडेंट एमपी गुप्ता ने फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्सेस ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ रीजन एंड देयर डेवलपमेंट प्लानिंग पे 1976 में पीएचडी प्राप्त की आपके थर्ड स्टूडेंट महेश कुमार चंदेले ने रायपुर ए स्टडी इन अर्बन जोग्राफी में 1979 में पीएचडी प्राप्त की आपने टोटल फील्ड वर्क पर अपना सर्वे करके अपना रिसर्च किया इसी प्रकार आपकी चौथी स्टूडेंट मैडम जकिया खान तस्लीम खान ने भी बिलासपुर स्टडी अर्बन जॉग्राफी को प्राइमरी डाटा पर फील्ड सर्वे पर आधारित करके पूरा रिसर्च किया और आपको 1983 में पीएचडी की उपाधि प्राप्त हुई आपकी पांचवी स्टूडेंट सरला चौबे मीन्स सरला शर्मा पॉपुलेशन पैटर्न एंड प्रॉब्लम इन मध्य प्रदेश पर वर्क किया उस समय प्रादेशिक नियोजन के लिए प्रदेश स्तर पर अध्ययन होते थे और इसी को ध्यान में रखते हुए सर ने मुझे टॉपिक दिया था और इस पर उन्होंने जो है वह पॉपुलेशन रीजन की भी एक नया एस्पेक्ट बनाया था रीजन बनाया था एमपी पे जो कि बहुत ही सराहनीय रहा छठवा स्टूडेंट जो है कुमारी किरण साहू स्पेशल पैटर्न ऑफ सोशियो इकोनॉमिक चेंजेस इन बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट पे वर्क किया और 1987 में आपको पीएचडी की उपाधि प्राप्त हुई आपका भी वर्क प्राइमरी डाटा पर आधारित था आपकी लास्ट और सेवन स्टूडेंट छाया तिवारी लोकेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ 
इंडस्ट्रीज इन छत्तीसगढ़ पर कार्य किया और आपको 1990 में पीएचडी को उपाधि प्राप्त हुई आपके स्टूडेंट के सुपर सब इसके बाद में आपको यहाँ कुछ उनके पब्लिकेशन की लिस्टिंग बता रही हूँ मैं इसको ज्यादा डिटेल्स में ना देखे केवल टाइटल पढ़ रही हूँ सर ने अपना कुछ नेशनल और इंटरनेशनल लेवल पर उनके रिसर्च पेपर प्रकाशित हुए जिसमें उनके खुद के अपने रिसर्च से ह्यूमन जोग्राफी ऑफ बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ये आपका गर्ग ब्रदर्स इलाहाबाद में प्रकाशित हुआ आपने मैप्स एंड डायग्राम जो हिंदी मानचित्र और आर का पुस्तक मध्य प्रदेश हिंदी ग्रंथ अकादमी भोपाल में 1976 में हुआ इसके अलावा सर ने जो है कलेक्शन प्रोसेसिंग एंड ग्राफिक प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेटा इन अर्बन जोग्राफी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर टाउन प्लानिंग जनरल ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टाउन प्लानर्स इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली में प्रकाशित हुआ इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ नेचुरल इन्वायरमेंट ऑन ह्यूमन लाइफ इन बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंडियन जनरल ऑफ जोग्राफी जोधपुर नाइनटीन में छत्तीसगढ़ बेसिन आपने आर एल सिंह के एडिटिंग बुक इंडिया स्टडीज नेशनल कमिटी फॉर जोग्राफी कोलकाता में प्रकाशित हुआ क्लाइमेट एंड ह्यूमन लाइफ इन बस्तर मध्य प्रदेश आपका आईजीओ में प्रकाशित हुआ वीकली मार्केट साइज एंड सर्विस एरिया इन बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मध्य प्रदेश इंडियन फिजिकल जनरल आई में के बारे में प्रकाशित हुआ मेजरमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल एफिशिएंसी इन बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट एक फंक्शनल अप्रोच जोग्राफिकल आउटलुक में छत्तीसगढ़ रीजन आर एल सिंह के ए रीजनल जोग्राफी में द ग्रोथ ऑफ अर्बन पॉपुलेशन छत्तीसगढ़ जोग्राफिकल आउटलुक में जोग्राफी एंड रीजनल प्लानिंग फॉर बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मध्य प्रदेश इंडिया इंटरनेशनल जोग्राफी कांग्रेस के सिलेक्टेड पेपर्स वालों में ह्यूमन एडजस्टमेंट विथ ह्यूमिड ट्रॉपिकल इन्वायरमेंट इन बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मध्य प्रदेश इंडिया प्रोसीडिंग ऑफ आई में प्रकाशित हुआ इसी पर रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन मध्य प्रदेश आपका ये ट्वेंटी थर्ड इंटरनेशनल जोग्राफिकल यस्टरडे कांग्रेस मॉन्ट्रियल में प्रकाशित हुआ सम आस्पेक्ट ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन मध्य प्रदेश इंडियन जोग्राफी रायपुर में चेंजिंग पैटर्न ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल डेंसिटी इन मध्य प्रदेश इंडिया आपका प्रोसीडिंग ऑफ आई IGU रीजनल कॉन्फ्रेंस में रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स इन द एड रेट्स ऑफ मेजर फूड क्रॉप्स इन मध्य प्रदेश इंडिया आपका रीजनल uh, कॉन्फ्रेंस uh, में हुआ जोग्राफिकल आउटलुक में वेरिएबिलिटी एंड ट्रेंड्स ऑफ एनुअल रेनफॉल इन द छत्तीसगढ़ रीजन आपका प्रोसीडिंग था सिंपोजन ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल मानसून पुणे में दुर्ग भिलाई अर्बन कॉम्प्लेक्स इट्स मार्फोलॉजी ग्रोथ एंड रीजनल रिलेशंस आपका ये हुआ हैदराबाद में एंड जोग्राफिकल एंड प्लानिंग फॉर रीजनल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ बस्तर डिस्ट्रिक्ट आपका एस एस इन अप्लाइड जोग्राफी एडिटिंग बी सी मिश्रा सर के उसमें प्रकाशित हुआ फंक्शनल एनालिसिस ऑफ क्लास वन एंड क्लास टू सिटीज ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश आपका उत्तर भाग गोल पत्रिका द डेमोग्राफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फाउंड और ग्रोथ ऑफ क्लास वन एंड क्लास टू सिटीज क्लास टू टाउन मध्य प्रदेश आपका आर एल सिंह सर के एडिटिंग बुक में फंक्शनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ आउट ग्रोथ ऑफ क्लास वन एंड क्लास टू टाउन ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश आपका द जोग्राफर अलीगढ़ में स्पेशियल एनालिसिस ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट इन मध्य प्रदेश नेशनल जोग्राफर स्पेशियल एनालिसिस ऑफ द लेवल ऑफ रीजनल डेवलपमेंट इन मध्य प्रदेश आपका एडिटिंग मॉडर्न जोग्राफिक ट्रेंड्स में जसपुर सामरी पार प्रदेश एंड दंड कारण इन रीजनल जोग्राफी ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एडिटिंग ऑफ प्रमिला कुमार मध्य प्रदेश के हिंदी ग्रंथ अकादमी में सोशियो इकोनॉमिक चेंजेस इन द ट्राइब्स ऑफ जसपुर रीजन आप रविशंकर शुक्ला यूनिवर्सिटी के जनरल्स में फ्यूलवुड यूज इन अर्बन एरियाज ए केस स्टडी ऑफ रायपुर इंडिया द एनर्जी जनरल जनरल्स में यूएसए में और कंजम्पन ऑफ फ्यूल वुड एंड अदर हाउस होल्ड कुकिंग फ्यूल्स इन इंडिया सिटीज आपका यूएसए के ही जनरल्स में प्रकाशित हुआ इस प्रकार आपने अपने पूरे सेवा काल में कई राष्ट्रीय अंतर्राष्ट्रीय शोध पत्रिकाओं का प्रकाशन किया प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल सर सेवा निवृत्त के बाद रायपुर में ही सुंदरनगर कॉलोनी में अपने स्वयं के घर में निवारस हुए जहां वे अपने तीनों संतानों पुत्र वधुओं के साथ रहते थे 
सेवा निवृत्त के बाद भी प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल ने अपना भूगोल से अपना संबंध नहीं छोड़ा और इस बीच उन्होंने भारत का भौतिक भूगोल पुस्तक का लेखन किया प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल सर 2015 से कुछ शारीरिक अस्वस्थता में बढ़ते चले गए और एक इस बीच वो 2016 में लंबी अस्वस्थता के बाद हॉस्पिटलाइज हुए यहाँ पर 26 जून 2016 को सर का दुखद निधन हो गया ये मेरे लिए बहुत सभा की बात रही कि मैं उनकी वो स्टूडेंट थी जिन्होंने उनको अंतिम बार सजीव स्थिति में देखा मुझे जब उनकी बहु किरण ने बताया कि सर पंद्रह दिनों से मेकाहरा हॉस्पिटल में है और मैं जब उनको देखने गई तो आईसी आईसीसीयू में थे और उस समय सर की आंखें खुली थी और उन्होंने मुझे देखा मैंने प्रणाम किया उत्तर दिया और उसके बाद मुझे पता चला कि सर सीधे कोमा में चले गए और 26 जून को उनका दुखद निधन हो गया आपके इस निधन से न केवल छत्तीसगढ़ अपितु भारत के भूगोल की अपूर्णी क्षति रही प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल का भूगोल के विकास में उनके महत्वपूर्ण योगदान एवं सृजनात्मक सेवादान के लिए हमेशा उन्हें याद किया जाएगा मैं अपने व्याख्यान को विराम देने से पहले आप आपको बताना चाहूंगी कि मुझे इस व्याख्यान के लिए जो साधन उपलब्ध हुए उसमें आदरणीय प्रोफेसर एच एस गुप्ता सर आदरणीय प्रोफेसर एम पी गुप्ता सर आदरणीय प्रोफेसर जट्टी खान एवं उनके बेटे शरद अग्रवाल का विशेष सहयोग रहा मैं हृदय से आप सभी को धन्यवाद देती हूं जिन्होंने मुझे इस व्याख्यान को आ, आ, को बनाने में और पूर्ण करने में अपना सहयोग दिया मैं विशेष रूप से डॉक्टर शिवेंद्र बहादुर के भी आभारी हूं जिन्होंने मेरे इस व्याख्यान को आ, एक मूर्त रूप प्रस्तुत करने में मुझे प्रत्यक्ष और अप्रत्यक्ष सहयोग दिया इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ मैं आदरणीय अग्रवाल को अपनी अशुपुरी श्रद्धांजलि प्रेषित करते हुए अपने वक्तान को विराम देती हूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर सरला शर्मा मैडम यू आर रियली ब्लेस्ड एंड यू एज अ स्पीकर ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर प्रोफेसर अग्रवाल सर इज अ रियल ट्रिब्यूट टू हिम and uh, it's an honor to each and every one that his student is presenting his entire biography today in front of this audience on this auspicious platform and uh, you have been very sincere and have put in great efforts to incorporate almost everything whether it was professional front academics administrative as well as on personal level at home front i think you are you are one of the luckiest student of agarwal sir to get through all these things and also uh, your phd degree award under his guidance thank you so much for your excellent presentation and in depth um, entire biography of professor agarwal sir thank you so much sir thank you Uh, with president sir's permission i would like to invite uh, professor pravin saptar shi sir chief guest of the occasion to say a few words on this let's see. yes 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 please yes, yes. <coughs> thank you sir uh, chairman sir professor vice chancellor jhas <laughs> my uh, friend and one who is always uh, working hard to establish saga uh, professor devendra singh uh, then there are so many colleagues i i just uh, on my small screen i can see mandal sir is there uh, madam is there and uh, sushmita is there so uh, so many friends uh at the outset uh, i would definitely say that uh, what sharma madam has told us she has given the um, really uh, the insight insider view of uh, professor um, agarwal and um, of course he was 
senior to me by 23 years and I was not knowing him. I was knowing him through his books and publications only and uh, I couldn't meet him. Uh, but uh, I'm really thankful to uh, Professor Devendra Singh, one who is uh, who has enthused all of us to give some write-up and to speak about the contributions of great geographers, old geographers, and uh, it should be uh, presented in the conferences uh, like this. And this is 39th episode. So it is really great thing and it, uh, the um, Professor Sharma Madam's uh, lecture underlines the need of uh, such kind of episodes that uh, Professor Devendra Singh is, has organized. <clears throat> Another point, let me tell you about uh, um, on this occasion, uh, it may not be out of context to find out the contributions or to know the contributions of the uh, geographers in adjacent countries like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, and that will definitely enhance our efforts to establish Saga, South Asian um, Association of Geographers. So this is really a one uh, step ahead of uh, establishing Saga. And I think uh, I have seen that the Professor Amar Singh from Sri Lanka, he has also joined us and he will let us hope that he will take the responsibility of giving us the ideas regarding uh, idea regarding the contributors in um, Sri Lanka, the contributors in the field of geography in Sri Lanka. And also Rahman is there. He will give us the uh, some contributions from the Pakistan uh, geographers. So with these words, I hope that uh, this kind of uh, efforts should be continued and it will be continued because um, DP Singh is well supported by the young team. And really I have seen his efforts, uh, uh, I think for last 10, 15 years, he is wandering here and there, attending each and every conferences and meeting the people, taking their address, email address, and trying to establish the connectivity amongst us. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, madam. Thanks. I, I, another thing is that <laughs> I'm really um, uh, thankful to uh, Professor Sushmita, uh, one who has praised <laughs> me and uh, she has uh, used very good words about me and I will try to be like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Davin Saptarshi, sir. Uh, sir, I have said all the facts, no exaggeration. <laughs> and uh, yes, what, what is true and what is being done on the floor, the ground realities. I have also been seeing you right from my student days and I'm really proud to be there with me on this platform and introduce you on this occasion. So it's a great blessing for me from all my team, really. And I thank Devendra Pratap Singh sir for giving us this opportunity to interact and uh, present so many good things about different geographers on this platform. And it's a great documentation that will be prepared for the coming generation to go through. It's a great record, a noble, noble record, I would say, golden mark in the history of geography of India. And so along with that, the saga which is coming up, definitely this will create a golden mark even in the history of the neighboring countries of Asia. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, with due per kind permission of President Professor V. C. Jha, sir, I would like to invite our special guest on this platform to say a few words, Professor Attar Rahman, sir, who is also so kind and so precious for all of us to be here always. He is Professor and Chairman, Department of Geography and Geomatics, University of Peshawar, Pakistan, as well as President of Pakistan Association of Geographers. Thank you, sir, for joining. Please say a few words. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Professor Dr. S. V. Chavan, uh, for giving me the opportunity to be part of this very important event. Uh, I'm very much obliged that uh, India is contributing much to extend tribute to our senior geographers. They are reminding us to follow the footprints of the convener, Professor Davindra Singh. He is taking lead and he has a dynamic team, always working hard in order to materialize his vision. I am very much obliged all the geographers from across the Indian subcontinent representing India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and uh, Bhutan, I think. Uh, Professor Agarwal, I have seen some of his very good publication and we also referred and cited his wonderful contribution in the field of geography. I still remember my professor and my mentor, Professor Dr. Muhammad Saeed, he graduated from Nottingham University, UK, and then he did his PhD from the Sheffield University in the field of geomorphology. We always referred the contribution of Professor Agarwal. And today, I have seen his picture first time, thanks to the digital system and the IT technology. Uh, I have seen some of the key contribution with special reference to the urban and regional planning, his contribution in the field of regional development, particularly focusing on the agriculture sectors, which truly highlighted by Professor Dr. Sarla. Thank you, Prof this speaker, Professor Dr. Sarla. It was really so inspiring for me to extend tribute to my teachers and my teacher of teachers who graduated from the Aligarh Muslim University. Inshallah, I'm deadly sure that we will contribute and we are in the process of writing some good tributes, wonderful tributes, and that will be sent and forwarded to Professor Devendra Singh to become part of the proceeding of this uh, wonderful makers of the India. So with these words, I'm not taking much of your time, but I'm very much obliged for giving me the opportunity to be part of this very important, inspiring event. And uh, thank you all the uh, guest speakers, guests, uh, guest of honors, Professor Praveen, uh, thank you, sir. Professor Vibash, thank you, sir, for joining us. And thank you all the worthy geographer from across the Indian subcontinent. Thank you all with these words. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your kind words and sparing your valuable time for many of our episodes. And whatever you said, it's, it's really a very proud moment for us that our geography teachers are being great even outside the country. And this we came to know because of this platform. Thank you so much for your uh, kind and sweet words on this occasion. Thanks a lot. Now I would invite our other special guest, Professor Umesh Mandal, sir, 
head central department of geography tribhuvan university kathmandu nepal and sir is also giving us great support for all the episodes by his presence as well as guidance in various forms yeah. professor mr sir please yeah <coughs> uh uh thank you so much sir uh sb sohan madam as a convener of this uh important 39 episode of the online lecture series uh on the founders and makers of modern geography in india so uh i would like to thank all the uh, distinguished guest and then founders member of this i uh, means geography development uh, not only in india but also the india subcontinent so today we have the 39 episode of this series so this is very very vital work of the geographers connecting to each other regarding this Uh, India subcontinent. For this, we have the pillar professor Devendra Prasad Singh, uh, whose dream is to make the geographers connected in one Pangaea and Panthalsa, so that we can express our views, express our works, and then events through this flip from saga south. Asian Geographers Association. So, similarly, I am very honored to have the President Professor V C Jha, and then we have the Chief Guest Pravin Shabtari C, and then we have the Distinguished Guest R C Dusa, and today's speaker is a Professor Sarla Sharma, Madam. who is very very nice to speak about the professor p c agarwal so this is the first time we have the opportunity to speak in the hindi it is very very sweet and sound language and he she presented in a very metaphorical way of the contribution of the p c agarwal so all the contribution uh, by this uh, 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 agrawal and then we have the uh, their family members so professor sarla ma'am thank you so much uh, you are the good orator and not only in the english but also in the hindi metaphorical language you speak about the professor p c agrawal's family and his sons and then family members and how he contributed to his uh, to his children and to his students as geography and the students also so this is a very very nice presentation well is speaking by professor sarla sharma madam and similarly so this platform is very very uh, important for us regarding this geographers connection and connectivity so i would like to thank professor devendra prasad singh uh, to have the different series of this episode and then we have the our conference regarding this saga so i would like to professor devendra singh now we have the Uh, almost all geographers and beside we have the bhutan and then we have the maldives so please i request professor devendra sir so how we can connect this uh, two country geographer because one of the person is identify in the bhutan and then so how we can in what way we are able to connect him to in this saga platform so i would like to request uh, to make the good connection so that he also appear in this platform 
and similarly what about the geographers in the maldives so how you can get the information what is going on in the maldives about the campuses about the universities about the geography subject so please uh, two country geographer as only left to connect this pengia of the saga so i would like to uh, request uh, professor devendra sir and his team to make the harmony to connect uh, the geographers uh, beyond this uh, our country so professor devendra sir has divided and then he has given us to write down some uh, development about the development of geography in their respective country so this is a big and this is important asset of the geography in the sub continent of india so that we can connect and we may know the history and development we may know the uh, geographers and founders who made the geography developed in their respective country so this is very good a uh, platform and very good uh, uh, means event so that we can connect to each other and for this we are very very uh, honored to have such a distinguished and then respected geographers in india and particularly saavn madam sahab so from the right she is doing all these works speaking about very nicely the contribution of the president and then distinguished guests and speakers so always she is doing very nice work to 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 speak about their contribution their biography their curriculum vitae so these are the very important for us so that we are not so much aware regarding the those founders and makers presently not appear but they did to develop the geography india in sub continent so i am not taking much time and similarly our professor uma gole ma'am vote of thank and then you have the welcome address and then jt khan ma'am and all our uh, special guest and then guest of honor so all our distinguished geographer in respective countries so at last i would like to thank all the uh, organizing in, in members and the pillar of this member is professor devendra sir and mr sohan sahab and the speaker so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to speak about this plague farm and may able to know the development by those founders and makers presently not appear not seeing but they have their done in the past thank you ma'am and then speaker and organizing pillar devendra sir and his team members thank you ma'am thank you so much professor umesh sir uh, you have really very truly appreciated sadla madam of her presentation it has really touched our heart and our appreciation will keep us motivated and give our best on this platform besides whatever you have suggested regarding saga definitely we all would be working together as a team and see that our dream comes true uh, one more uh, thing i would like to say on this platform with sir's permission sir's permission that definitely this uh, episodes are dedicated to the university departments of geography in india and now of course the neighboring countries uh, but uh, let us remember that university departments are the i'll say the top of the pyramid but the base of the pyramid are the primary schools the secondary schools the colleges to mm. more so the college university departments of geography which are the real feeders of the university departments yes. and therefore the geographers or the geography teachers at college level have really contributed great to see that university departments come up 
and students come to their PG and research. And therefore, we as university teachers are able to enjoy all the benefits of what so-called the university recognition and these episodes. But definitely, the root of this is the college geography departments, their students who are uh, matured by them, who are well trained by them, are coming to post graduation where they are polished by the postgraduate teachers, their guides. And so we have so much of uh, growth in various disciplines of geography. And therefore, the country is uh, growing in educational field as well as in different professional uh, disciplines. So on this platform, we owe great respect to all the college teachers of geography who have made us proud to have university departments and therefore these episodes are going through. But I request that after finishing all the university departments of the country, we should definitely start with college geography departments and the geography teachers therein who have given their best to the growth of the subject of discipline. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I would now like to invite Professor A.G. Amar Singh, sir, Professor in the Department of Geography, mm. University of Kedanya, Danugama, mm. Sri Lanka, and who is also President of Sri Lanka Association of Geographers. Uh, I, I don't see, sir, in the participants. Amar Singh, sir, you are there, please. The yes. professor is here. Oh, he has joined. Sir, I can see. Yes, yes sir. President, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. May I get just two minutes uh, to speak? Let us. I am Vikas Srivastava. Yeah, yeah. I, I know, sir. I, I know. <laughs> I know very well, sir. Agarwal sir, our teacher was. Yeah. Two minutes. We have to give them time for the teacher. I think uh, let us finish uh, the all the guests. Okay, uh, okay. Doesn't are. matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. Thank yeah. you, Professor. Yes. Our special guest is from Sri Lanka. Ah yes, I am uh, Amar Singha from Sri Lanka. Uh, thank you all the organizing committee for inviting me to. Uh, this uh, respectable and uh, honorable uh, meeting or a conference. Uh, Professor V. C. Da, uh, chairman of this organization, and also uh, Professor Chawan, and also the Professor uh, uh, Praveen, Praveen, and also other uh, De Professor Devendra and all colleagues and the my senior professors and distinguished audience and also the colleagues. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me for this conference. Actually, I am very honored and I am also uh, happy to be with you at this occasion. Uh, because uh, I came to know that you are honoring your past head. So uh, that should be appreciated, uh, respecting your seniors, your teachers, and your colleagues. So uh, I, I hope this is the way of job groupers, respecting others. The job groupers respect not only the human kind, but also the uh, non-physical objects. So we are the people who respect the natural objects, water, air, soil, like that. And the, our nature and our culture. The respecting others, basically that the uh, focal point of Professor P.C. Agrawal, but this is there. I could understand you are respecting him very well because his 
honorable activity attitudes and behavior that is there but even then though people would do good things for others but many people won't respect them so such kind of society will be in collapse or will be in trouble so according to me respecting others and the organizing such kind of events to respect to others particularly the geographers so it is a good thing why i say so the at this moment russia and ukraine fighting each other and destroying 10000 of human lives and the properties such kind of devastation the basic thing for that war is not respecting others so respecting others we can solve big problem can solve small problem and can heal the world and we can achieve the development as we wish so the this the base of respect in to others is a very essential thing for us so i am happy the many of the audience consisted consisted in this forum is seniors so seniors has the responsible to teach youngers to behave as a exemplary or example to the others so you do your business very well i am happy to see all the senior professors and also the uh, uh, many other uh, distinguished guests who are leading this event so i actually honor you this can be ex uh, expand to uh, keep connection with other countries and solve the economic and socio economic issues not only india not only the, our university but also the among countries we why i say so actually the world is ruled by the politicians it is true but politician are eager to get our ideas they are very like to keep connection with us basically us means the professors of the universities so we are not taking into consideration that respect that is why the many problems came into surface in many countries for example sri lanka has collapsed now main reason is not taking into account our responsibility and respect to others and also the respect in the politician so if we are keeping close relationship with them i think uh, many problem in that we face in sri lanka could be so so again i don't take into <coughs> uh, more time to explain this but the term respect is discuss in the subject of philosophy and the ethical uh, subjects and also the uh, kantian uh, poly, uh, explanation as a key element that can be used to solve many problem so you are and we are on that platform so i think this uh, initiative will take big step to solve many problem among our countries among our societies so again i respect chairman uh, professor v c cha and also the chawan and devendra prasad singh and i could see the now uh, the uh, school of geography studies in uh, andik uh, uh, that uh, shivashankar university has a seventh uh, i think ninth head of the department but many of them are now with us so that is the great thing and also the seventh head uh, make a good speech and she was very honorable 
so that is the great thing and also nine eight now leading the this forum and professor agrawal was uh was a head uh i think more than 23 years and also the uh, 40 uh, percent of the time duration of the age of the this department so that kind of facts and figures a uh, surface and visualize the your capacity of respecting others so i appreciate your respecting and initiating this kind of surfacing human qualities among us thank you very much for listening me and uh, inviting me thank you very much thank you sir thank you amar singh sir so much uh, definitely what you have said about ecology and environment is very true all living and non living things are equally important and even the non living things need to have human touch to have sustainable development and the earth as a habitable planet thank you so much sir for all your inputs on this platform uh, with permission of uh, president dar sir i would like to now invite for a um, few remarks by guest of honor professor nandini singh singh madam former head and dean fs rajiv gandhi university itanagar from arunachal pradesh yes please she is also vice president of professor yes. nandini madam please please um, hello am i audible hello yeah okay a uh, very a uh, very good evening to the august gathering professor cha who is almost like my uh, our family with uh, rajiv gandhi university is associated in and out so it was so nice to see and uh, uh, i am very happy to see professor pravin shaptrishi ki i met him way back in trishi if he can recall uh, when we met uh, with professor kumar swami uh, we had a trip together down to um, rameshwaram so so nice to see you sir after such a long time um so um i was just listening and uh, this is my second uh, i should say opportunity to be associated as guest of honor uh, i would uh, just this lot has been said uh, well i would say it is my proud privilege to be part of this forum of this very illustrious and acclaimed geographers i am honored thrilled and delighted to have this opportunity to share my thoughts uh, and i thank professor dp singh for this wonderful opportunity that he has given me uh, on this very prominent episode of founders and makers of modern geography uh, i feel very proud again to share that way back in 2018 when i had organized uh, nagi in, in my university where professor dp singh had come and we had discussion the idea of this uh, kind of episodes had generated from there and i'm i'm really really again thrilled to see and it gives me a wonderful feeling that uh, this forum has extended so much it has connected across the country and across the boundary of asian countries and i'm very sure that soon uh, this forum will touch the other nations and would emerge as the connecting forum for all geographers across listening to professor rahman uh, professor umesh professor amar singhle gave a new dimension to the thoughts of geography uh, i think we need to perhaps uh, this multi dimensional things will give us more opportunities to expand and to give us some ideas in a different di- directions <clears throat> well i always talk to professor dp singh and i say that you have provided us a platform uh actually he has done a stupendous work of launching this platform to connect geographers across for the first time i believe that we have started knowing each other hum pehchante the jante nahi the so that he has done so progressing as i always say uh, you have uh, done something that is really really remarkable and you are going to go ahead with it more um it is also true very true that almost all the episodes though i had started with the first few but i could not continue but i keep joining in and out because of my own issues uh, it has been so much informative and knowledgeable for geographers across the country and beyond especially i would say for the young geographers 
no doubt that the credit entirely goes to you and also all those contributors who spare their time come out with such kind of work and they hunt around things they come out with things and for the first time we are getting to know that how much enormous contribution has been already made by people with whose contribution we stand today so proudly saying that we are geographers today's episode presented by very revered professor sarla ji again whom i call didi and i know her for such a long time is so much significant and informative Professor Sarla, who is an eloquent and captivated speaker as always, has aptly choreographed the lifespan of Professor P. C. Agarwal, founder of Department of Studies, Pandit Ravi Shankar Shukla University. Her apt presentation actually took us back into time and sketched the <clears throat> generous qualities of Professor Agarwal at the personal and professional level. What is most remarkable. which is i am bound to remark here is which is that professor agarwal students professor khan professor sharma sharma sharla sharma ji both are today renowned geographers and have very aptly carried forward the values teaching and devotion of the subject that makes the department of pandit ravi shankar shukla university so robust famous and stand tall so i think this is the biggest thing you can see that his creation his contribution is continuing in the form of two very apt students who are so much well known across the nation for their academic contribution and i think the legacy goes on the academic contribution of professor uh, agarwal which we heard today is something to reckon with and provides an opportunity to learn both in the academic administrative professional and personal level thank you madam sarla for such a detailed presentation um i totally hope I agree with the saga concept and i'm very sure that it's going to expand and become a huge organization which will be something that we all will reckon with thank you so much once again professor singh professor dp singh sir devendra sir for organizing these episodes keep you are doing it you have been doing it and it's going on uh, the ball is rolling as we always talk and also thank you so much for providing this opportunity to me once again for becoming part of this august camp thank you so much thank you so much nandini madam what you said is very true the same lies with me to all those comments thank you so much for being associated with this platform i would now like to invite professor vijay sir our guest of honor former professor and head department of geography kannur university kerala professor vijay sir please डिग्नेटरीजर Uh, but uh, as per the guidance of jha sir we would just go through our schedule and then yeah. we will come to all other uh, uh, participants who would like to say a few words right. so now i would like to uh, request president of the episode professor bibhas chandra jha sir to please give his presidential remarks uh, i think uh, one of our uh, yes professor salam from bangladesh yeah 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 uh, professor uh, islam uh, is visible here yes yes yeah so oh, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i would like to request uh, professor islam from bangladesh to say a few words professor islam yes i i can hear you you can yeah, hear yeah. me please please yes yes please go on extremely sorry sir <laughs> oh, no no does matter am i am i audible yes please go on yes you are audible oh yeah. uh thank you very much uh, uh, honorable uh, president professor vc ja today's of today's uh, 39th episode on founders and makers of modern geography in india uh 
Professor S. V. Chauhan, convener of this session, Professor P. Saptarshi, Chief Guest, Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Sharma, the speaker, and other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. A very welcome from Bangladesh and good evening. Here it is 7 o'clock, 7.15. I am really very delighted and very thrilled to be part of you. This online connection has given us inter-country inter connectivity and sharing our geographical knowledge. So I am very happy to be part of this program. I am thankful to the organizer for inviting me, particularly to Professor Devinder Singh, who I seems to be one of the youngest and very dynamic person. I am I am sure. He is always in connection with most of the geographers of India because he is even regularly connecting me from across the country. So I am thankful to him and his team for inviting me. I used to get invitation nearly in all episodes, but, but because of my some personal engagement and constraint, I could not join all these episodes, but I joined in many. In Bangladesh, the foundation of geography was laid in 1948. It means it is now 75 years. And this year we are celebrating our 75th anniversary of geography in the University of Dhaka. You know, Dhaka University is the oldest and largest university in Bangladesh. And Professor Nafiz Ahmed, who actually originally was in Aligarh, he moved to Bangladesh, the then East Pakistan, to found this department. And that is the starting of our geography knowledge, geography education. At this moment in Bangladesh, there are eight public universities where geography is being taught and research, geographical research are being conducted. But beside the public university, there are some private universities where they're actually not coining the name geography, but they're teaching in other names environment or environmental studies and most of the faculties are from geography background. Other than that, the vast majority of geographical teaching and learning and knowledge comes from the colleges. All over the country there are 48 colleges where their geography honors and master's courses are offered. And in many cases I should say that some of the colleges are even older than of many of our universities. And this, as we are giving our gratitude and honor to the founders and makers of the modern geography, we are just recalling our ancestor, our root. And many of the college's teachers of Bangladesh are our root, our ancestor, and our focus to disseminate the geographical knowledge in Bangladesh. I believe that they will come so that we can say or share our experiences and bring those our ancestor geographical legendary person to the global communities to the subcontinent communities the foundation of our geography as i said is basically subcontinent based or more specifically india based once we were in undivided british you know undivided india undivided nation so it disseminated from the heart of Indian territory. But now the country is divided in countries. But I should say the root remains the same. The geographical ideas, geographical concept, and geographical views, even I should say the geographical views of the subcontinent largely depend and largely varies from European uh, views or even American views. There is a wide variety of geographical issues in this subcontinent, from source to sink. Professor Chauhan, 
Yes, sir. I think they have lost yeah, the yeah, network. May I request you, Professor V.K. Srivastava, such a senior fellow, he just yes, waited. Yes, sir. Supla sir, please wait. Yeah, it is in my mind. <laughs> yeah. I think you can... I think uh, uh, Professor Sam is having yes. some uh, uh, network problem. In the meantime... Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Chavan, uh, we invite uh, Professor Virind Kumar Srivastavji to say a few words. Yes, sir. Please, please. Yes. Sir. Please. Professor Virind Kumar Srivastavji, sir. Please. Srivastavji, please. Professor Srivastav. Professor Srivastavji. Sir, you can unmute me. Please, please unmute yourself. Yeah, please. My anxiety for speaking about yes, yes. Professor Agrawal is that yes, yes. I am his student. Mm -hmm. I was his student at Sagar University for two years. And then for one year, Hello. I was his colleague also. I had the privilege of being his colleague also. So I have seen him as a teacher and as a colleague. Much has been said about Professor Agrawal very decently by Professor Sarla Sharma. One or two things that come to my mind is that Professor Agrawal's contribution in geography and particularly in HS Gaur University, Sagar, was in the field of applied geography. You know that at the time of Professor S.M. Ali, the Department of Sagar University was known as Department of General and Applied Geography. Applied Geography was established there and Professor Ali sent all his colleagues to foreign countries for a year or so for training in various aspects of uh, Applied Geography. Professor P.C. Agarwal was sent to Canada for his training in mapping techniques. At Sagar, Whatever I think uh, little has been left, uh, my colleagues, uh, Professor Jawaharlal Jain and Professor Santosh Shukla will agree with me that Professor Agrawal's contribution was in the field of applied geography about the preparing the master plan of Sagar City. Number one. Number two, micro land management as a field of study in uh, Sagar University. And then concept of local data level in urban planning. He, in fact, prepared a map, a blueprint for the master plan of Sagar, University, of Sagar City, being a geographer, being a teacher, and then also a map of the university also depicting various aspects, all contributed by the students and by the teachers of that department. In all these activities, my teacher, Professor P.C. Agrawal, was deeply involved, sincerely involved. I take the opportunity of my paying my respects to him, and I thank you and I am grateful to you for all of you for giving me two minutes to speak about it and to pay my respect to Professor Agrawal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Srivastuji. Thank you very much for sharing your personal uh, uh, relation with uh, Agrawal also and being a teacher of, uh, um, uh, as a teacher, Professor Agrawal of you. And I think uh, Professor Jain is also waiting to say a few words. Professor Jain. Sir, question, sir, just a minute, sir. Yes. 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 To me, uh, the one PhD report he made is a model for me and I try to 
whenever I had occasion to be on that line, no general uh, general comments is one thing, good or bad. Only why this thesis is uh, worth appreciation and acceptable or not. That is could be a very specific uh, point. Uh, I, may I have permission to read from the report of my own thesis. I was a student at Sagar University before he left uh, for Raipur uh, to establish the new department there as reader and head. So, uh, his cartographic presentation is of a high order, which reveals a spatial pattern of, and brings out the aerial differentiation very well. He brought out the important difference in the western and the eastern part of the region, that's Malwa, and he finds that administrative function of was the reason, reason that are of the most, most of the small and medium town sized towns in western Malwa. Here, towns are more numerous, closely spaced, and evenly distributed. There is greater overlapping intermixing of comp and competition among hinterlands in western Malwa. He has found that the urban growth in Malwa has been sluggish due to the lack of local mineral and power resources. Yeah. His conclusion is that the urban situation in Malwa is the result of the political historical processes in the background of a mild, hospitable geographical disposition of the region. Thus, he has made a definite contribution to the advancement of the geographical knowledge. And also, uh, it, the language is fit for publication, this and that. Other things are there. But then, if you approve the, the thesis, there should be very definite reasons. And if you disapprove also, there should be very specific reasons, not some general, general uh, uh, perfunctory remarks like that. That is, and that became my model. Now I take uh, just uh, uh, an opportunity to pay my compliments to uh, convener, Madam Swisnata Vilas Rao, for pointing out the roots of, the, uh, again, uh, geography and the post-graduation, that comes through schools and colleges. And there, we should pay some attention uh, to see that the, the quality teaching of the subject is there so that we get good feeding. Sir, just only this. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Professor Jain, for giving your uh, remarks. Uh, uh, towards the Professor Agrawal contribution. Now, Professor Islam from Bangladesh uh, is also uh, waiting, I think, uh, due to network connection, he could not uh, complete uh, his uh, complete uh, address. So I would like to request uh, is Professor Islam to please complete your address. Professor Islam. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, can you hear? Yeah. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, uh, unfortunately my internet uh, was uh, you know yeah, yeah. Uh, made a problem for me, so I was dis extremely sorry for that. And it is nothing to do; it is a technological problem. <laughs> and I was about to talk about the technology when the technology bit straight with me. So. I think uh, in, in, in brief, our please, natural please. system and sorry, sir. Uh, please conclude your. Yeah, I'm concluding. Yes. Yeah. So, wide variety of our expertise as well. The Indian subcontinent has a wide variety of geographic geographers with wide variety of expertise from social to natural system. But the basic thing is that from the conceptual traditional geographical knowledge we have now entered into applied area based on technology based on sharing of our knowledge and such a internet connectivity has given us wider you know audience wider connectivity so that we can share our knowledge and this kind of platform can help us we can cooperate among ourselves to sharing our knowledge to develop our common curriculum to exchange our views and i should ask to compile our expertise from different part of this continent in, in, in more than one volume so that we can have our to everybody's expertise 
agreed this knowledge with this few words and with this little interruption i am extremely sorry for that and gratitude to all of you for inviting me i am thankful to all of you thank you very much sir thank you thank you professor islam thank you very much now uh, our uh, distinguished guest uh, professor rc dusha ji also uh, uh, now visible so i would like to request uh, professor uh, ramesh dusha ji to share uh, your uh, uh, contribution with us please say a few words professor ramesh dusha ji from us professor chavan i think uh, yes we can hear yes sir we can hear you a bit loud please yeah yeah please yeah, a bit please. loud please yes please yes sir we can hear you please please go please ramesh dosa ji please go on sir you are audible I think sir has lost the connection. Yes, sir, you are muted. I think uh, he has lost his connectivity. So now I can sum up then. So, dear friends, uh, uh, sir, yeah. sir, 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 has uh, joined. Okay. Can please. you hear me now? Yes, yes, sir. yes. Hey, please go on. Thank you. Yeah, I lost connection, but now I am reconnected. So yes. thanks to the IT team. Well, what I will, I will not take more than a minute or so. First, I am so thrilled that I am part of this uh, illicit group of people, and uh, I, I saw my name as a distinguished guest, and I don't know what distinction I have, excepting that Devendra is my student, and he gave me this opportunity to reconnect with my my homeland country and. the department of geography and scholars and uh, to get some exposure of that uh, after about half a century when uh, i left magadh university in 1974 to come here to do some urban geography work but instead i am now a humanistic geographer which is out of the different field and uh, i will talk about it some other time but uh, So only thing I have said that I am very thrilled for this opportunity. There is no distinction except that Devendra is doing a wonderful job. That I get the opportunity to talk to you, see you, hear you, you distinguished people. So thank you very much, and hopefully we will see it again, and we we will rejuvenate some of the old contacts. I see some old contacts already, but uh, and then then some names which I have. Had heard, but I have never seen or talked. So that this platform gives me that. Okay, so I will stop here and thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Professor Ramesh. Thank you very much for joining us and giving your remarks. So yes. now I would like to uh, conclude uh, uh, conclude this particular episode, uh, dear friends. This is 39th episode of the online lecture series of founders and makers of modern geography in India. As everyone has clearly said, the team leader, Professor Devendra Pratap Singh ji, really he has given a platform to connect not only the Indian geographers but also the geographers of neighboring world as well as. from other continents also the 
platform which is given by Professor Devendra Singh, it now it has completed 39th today, and its future is also very bright. Normally, we talk about the well-known geographers, those who are famous with their contributions. But this platform has got a very noble task also to find out the lesser known geographers whose contributions are not came in the light, uh, but uh, they have also contributed some of the very good publications. And this platform is bringing them also at the uh, national and international level. Today's 29th episode, a convener has very likely said that the root of the geography starts from the schools and they are the actual provider uh, to us who are working in the field of geography at the national and across the world. Our chief guest, Professor Praveen Prishiji, has also pointed out and importance of the geography as well as the environmental science which connects with the geographers and provides the, the way out for the future development of geography. We have Professor Ramesh Dusaji from US, Professor Nandini Singh from Itanagar, Professor Vijayan and Professor uh, Atanu Atarur Rahmanji from Pakistan, Professor Umesh Kumar Mandalji from Nepal, Professor Islam from Bangladesh and from and from Sri Lanka, Amar Singhji. Just we can imagine how the wings of this platform is, is spreading. We started this platform only for the national level, particularly the Indian. But now we are going towards the international, particularly considering the and the involving the neighboring countries and ultimately our goal is to have saga platform and really it will be a great opportunity for all of us not only for the indian geographer for the across the world they will have a very good platform for spreading their and knowledge, sharing their knowledge, and ultimately goal of this particular platform is to have a document which will provide to the uh, coming generation as a, as a noble grant for their future development of geography, geographers, and geography teachers. Today's speaker, Professor Sarla Sarmanji, has nicely presented, nicely provided the sketch of Professor Agrawal. And uh, first time when we are listening, any speaker has given the background of a geographer from childhood to the last breath. Sarlaji, in a very nice way and in a very good Hindi also, uh, uh, the, uh, the lucid language rather I can say has presented the sketch of the uh, the Professor Agrawal. Agrawal's contribution is very significant, particularly in the School of uh, Geography of uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar Vishwidyalaya. And, and this is also a very good uh, platform where we can see the PhD students of Professor Agrawal are also well-known geographers. So this is the great achievement of our uh, geographers, senior geographers who are who have provided the contribution in terms of good teachers in the department uh, from HS Gupta ji, from MP Gupta ji, from Uma Gole ji, Professor Khan, Professor Bagmare, and and your Professor uh, Uma Gole ji. So all are now involved actively involved in the development of geography and they are taking the legacy of uh, Professor Agrawal. Professor Agrawal contribution as 
speaker and others have also presented. But one thing is very important that his interest is in the field of cartography also. Cartography actually, if we see, is nowadays day by day disappearing. But how maps are prepared, how map is relevant, and how maps to apps is important, all these things. And uh, particularly Agrawal contribution in terms of the translation of maps and diagrams of monk house in Hindi that was given a boost to the Indian geographers, young geographers to have a fascination in the field of cartography. Professor Agrawal has also contributed not only in terms of the good publications, but also he has proved himself as a professional geographer having training in the field of urban geography. He was actually the data provider also, uh, um, geography provider for the planning and development. Professor Umesh Kumar Mandalji and others also have said very good that the connectivity connectivity, actually linkage is needed. Linkage is needed between the geographers and the geographic contents. The pure aspects of the geography and the applied aspects of the geography. And this platform is bringing all the contributions of different departments in the field of pure geography as well as the applied geography. Although if you see the publications, very less number of publications are in pure geography, but large number of publications are found in applied geography. It is only because of the technology and technology is playing a very important role, particularly this online platform, the digital platform, the digital education system. So thanks to digital system, uh, which is providing us uh, this platform and uh, Professor D.P. Singh has captured this uh, technology in such a way, now he is connecting not only the Indian geographers, but also across the world. Uh, professor from Pakistan, professor from Bangladesh, professor from Sri Lanka, professor from US is joining. And now what we are doing, we are sharing the data and sharing the information, what researches are done in their countries, what researches we are doing. So on the globalization way, we can have a best way for the geographers and geography futures. So we, with these words, I would like to thank the organizer, Professor D.P. Singh, for giving me the opportunity to preside over this particular 39th episode, as well as all the distinguished guests, special guests, guests of honor, and all my senior geographers, Professor Sivasab Ji, Professor Santosh Sukla Ji, Professor Jawaharlal Jain Ji, and all young geographers uh, who are listening and contributing and sharing their information. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to one and all. Thank you very much, Convener Sushmita uh, Chavanji. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for gracefully chairing the session as president, as well as your awesome presidential remarks, covering each and every aspect of today's presentation, besides giving very invaluable suggestions for strengthening the subject of geography. Definitely, we will all take into consideration whatever you have suggested, and with your guidance and support, we will move ahead. Thank you so much, sir, for chairing and the presidential ship of this session. Uh, today, we have very senior most geographers and um, respected teachers, Dr. Sudesh Nangya, Madam, uh, Professor Rana Pratap, sir, Dr. Santosh Shukla, sir, on this platform. I request them to please say a few words. Sudesh Nangya, Madam, please. Madam, please unmute your mic. Uma, Madam, we'll wait for just. 
I think madam has lost the connectivity. Um, Professor Rana Pratap, sir, would you like to say something? Dr. Santosh Shukla, sir. Uh, probably uh, they must be having connectivity problem. A uh, few hands were raised and they were very eager to... Uh, Madam, we, we, should, we should also request Professor Sri Kamal Sarma, direct student and senior professor of geography. Yes, sir. Please, please. Sri, Sri Kamal Sarma should be requested. Yes. Okay. Kamal Sharma, sir, please, are you there? <laughs> Namaste, sir. Namaste. Thank you, Madam. Uh, thank you, Professor Singh. In fact, uh, things which I wanted to say has been said by Professor Srivastava. I had three things in my mind to say about Professor P.C. Agrawal. Professor P.C. Agrawal uh, got his uh, MA degree um, from Allahabad and then joined Department of Geography. So he came as a student in Geography Department. And uh, from Geography Department, he uh, took the training to become a perfect teacher. So he is the representative of Sagar University and he took the training under Professor uh, uh, S.M. Ali Sahab. Ali Sahab used to say, there were three, four professor, uh, teachers at that time when Professor Ali was head of the department there in, uh, in uh, 1956 to 64, 66. So four, of, uh, four teachers were there. Or one of them was Professor uh, Dr. P.C. Agrawal. And uh, P.C. Agrawal did his PhD under uh, S.M. Ali. Uh, he selected topic human geography. At that time, the uh, craze of human geography was very much uh, in Indian universities. Uh, people used to study the human geography of Huntington and uh, Blas and all that. And therefore, uh, he selected his topic human geography. At present time, this topic seems to be simple. But uh, the uh, objective which he put forth his result, uh, his research was very, very, very interesting. He, in fact, wanted to test uh, the test the players, work, and society. Uh, that was the uh, doctrine which we used to say at that time. And uh, keeping in his mind this uh, uh, Gaddis formula place, work, uh, and society. Professor Agrawal selected this uh, uh, topic, human geography. And that too, more important is the selection of area, Bastar. Bastar used to be larger than the Kerala state, bigger than the Kerala state. I present that uh, Bastar district has been divided into seven districts, seven. So he selected uh, Bastar district which was very inaccessible at those times, though it is even today. And uh, I believe none of the geographers of Chhattisgarh have entirely visited Bastar area. So he selected Bastar area that was more uh, inaccessible. And so uh, how it was possible for him to conduct research? In fact, if we see his PhD research, human geography in Bastar, we find that uh, uh, the methodology, tools, and objectives which you use at present for the research, Professor Agrawal uh, uh, visualized those things at that time in 1958. So he selected human geography. He went there several times. And once he went with uh, his PG students there, he came there for two months and uh, uh, prepared uh, schedules, distributed, uh, and uh, uh, through these schedules, he collected information. And uh, he uh, uh, collected information through observations and uh, uh, through discussions and through photographs. So all his PhD work was based on primary data. Now, no secondary data has been used in that thesis at that time when in 1960, he got his PhD degree. He was the second student, PhD student of Sagar University. First was Professor Vishi Mishra. So at that time, he used uh, primary data for his entirely primary data. He, he believed 
that the only primary data are reliable and the others are not so much reliable. Secondly, uh, he uh, uh, hypothesized that the environment molds the uh, working activities of the people and work uh, molds the society, nature of society, how people believe, how people they behave. And so, with the help of diagrams, maps, and photographs, he uh, tried to uh, illustrate all these things there. So, first thing, one thing. I present we talk about the uh, inductive and deductive. Sir, I request you to please be brief. Pardon? Uh, yes. So, in fact, uh, he used to that uh, inductive method. Second thing which I like to say um, that uh, Professor Agrawal, I have said that I have basic principle that he be exact. सही हो ये शुद्ध हो ये करेक्ट हो ये भले ही शार्ट हो ये और वह ट्रेनिंग उन्हें अपने इस पीएचडी में दिखाया और इसके बाद भी लोगों को जितने भी रिसर्च कराया है वो एग्जैक्टनेस पर ही बहुत ध्यान देते थे आपको एक उदाहरण बताएं कि वो एक किताब लिख रहे थे जॉग्राफी ऑफ इंडिया और उस किताब को उन्हें पांच बार लिखा और जब भी वो किताब लिख लेते थे तो नए डेटा आ जाते थे और फिर उसको रिवाइज करते थे अंततः वो किताब छप नहीं पाई केवल उसका फिजिकल पोर्शन भी उन छापा था फिजिकल जॉग्राफी ऑफ इंडिया कर करके तो यह था उनके जेक्टनेस का अपडेट होने का तीसरा उनका ओरिएंटेशन था विचार उनके विचार थे वह हमेशा वास्तव में पॉजिटिव सोचते थे जैसे हम लोग कहते हैं कि गिलास आधी खाली है वो कभी ये नहीं कहते थे वो ये कहते थे कि आधा गिलास भरा है एक बार ऐसा इंस्टेंस हुआ कि हम दोनों एक क्लास में एग्जामिनर थे और लड़के ने स्केल बनाया हुआ था ग्राफिकल स्केल हमने देखा स्केल ठीक नहीं था तो आई सजेस्टेड कि इसको एक जीरो दे दें तो उन्होंने कहा नहीं डॉक्टर शर्मा ऐसा नहीं है आप देखिए लड़के ने लाइन खींचा है इट मीन्स हीज नोशन ऑफ ग्राफिकल स्केल फिर उसने देखे लाइन को डिवाइड किया है मतलब वह जानता है कि लाइन को स्केल को डिवाइड भी करना होता है और इस तरह से भी करना तो ये मैं केवल ये उदाहरण दे रहा हूँ कि कितने पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग के थे हमारे डॉक्टर जैन ने अभी बताया रिसर्च की उनकी तमाम रिपोर्ट थी कोई रिसर्च परफेक्ट परफेक्ट नहीं होती आज भी अगर हम अपनी रिसर्च देखें तो शायद हम रिजेक्ट कर दें लेकिन उन्होंने कभी भी अपनी रिपोर्ट में पी के निगेटिव पॉइंट कभी नहीं लिखते थे वह केवल अप्रिशिएट करते थे तो हमारी उनकी थिंकिंग जो है ये थी महत्वपूर्ण थी कि वह हमेशा पॉजिटिव सोचते थे नेगेटिव नहीं उनका जो आउटलुक था वह हमेशा पॉजिटिव था और उनकी जागरूकता की बात जो अवेयरनेस थी हमने बताया कि उन सिक्सटीज ने विजुलाइज किया था कि प्राइमरी डेटा का क्या महत्व है हमारे जो अप्रोच है उनमें से कौन सा अप्रोच रिसर्च के लिए सबसे महत्वपूर्ण होगा इसको हमने देखा उनके दो तीन सेमिनार में आपके बॉम्बे में ही 1981 में एक अर्बन प्लानिंग पर सेमिनार हुआ वर्कशॉप इट इनफैक्ट इस बात से मनो सिंपोजियम फॉर थ्री डेज हम भी वहाँ थे वो भी वहाँ थे एक सेशन उन्होंने चेयर किया और जिस ढंग से उनने पेपर्स पर कमेंट किया मैं आश्चर्यचकित हो गया मुझे तो बहुत सीखने को मिला उनने उस पेपर की विशेषताएं तो बताई ही साथ ही में उनने बताया कि अगर आप ये कंसेप्ट प्रयोग करते और यह चीजें और अगर आप जोड़ते तो यह बहुत अच्छा रिसर्च पेपर होता जो कि यूजुअली हम नहीं करते हम प्रशंसा करके लोगों को छोड़ देते हैं हम सुझाव नहीं देते हैं तो यह उनका अवेयरनेस की बात एक उदाहरण है कई ऐसे उदाहरण है क्योंकि आपके पास समय ने एक और सेमिनार था शर्मा सर शर्मा सर विद ड्यू रिस्पेक्ट टू यू प्लीज वी नीड टू कंक्लूड द सेशन आपने जाते जाते मुझे आ, कुछ क्षण दिए मैं अपनी कृतज्ञता प्रोफेसर अग्रपाल जो कि हमारे अंजर के टीचर थे आ, उनके प्रति व्यक्त कर पाया मैं आप सबका आभारी हूँ और मैडम चौहान का आभारी हूँ कि वह हमसे प्रार्थना कर रही है कि आप हमें छोड़ दें धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच सर मैं बहुत क्षमा चाहती हूँ कि आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड योर फीलिंग्स एंड योर एसोसिएशन विद सर आपने जो भी कुछ कहा है डॉक्टर शर्मा सर डॉक्टर जैन सर डॉक्टर वीरेंद्र कुमार श्रीवास्तव सर 
about uh, Agarwal sir. All those things at Sagar University will definitely get incorporated in the literature that will be published. And uh, whatever other information you have, please do give it so that the particular literature will get more enriched. Thank you so much and kindly excuse me. Extremely sorry for Thank interrupting you. and uh, but kindly excuse us. Uh, now I invite Sudesh Nangya, madam, to please see. Uh, madam, are you there, please? Sudesh Nangya, madam. Uh, we had one uh, Shikha Tiwari probably who was raising her hands. Uh, Tiwari, are you there? <coughs> okay. Then with due permission of President Sir, uh, Professor Vesi Jasser, I would yes. now invite uh, <coughs> Dr. Uma Gule, madam. Ma madam, what? Madam, oh, one sir. more uh, yes. very senior person. Yes. Pro Professor H. S. Gupta. Okay, okay, okay. Very senior person, and uh, has ha 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 a long associ association with uh, Professor Agarwal. Okay, I, I invite Gupta sir to, to please uh, say his few words in a minute or so because we are getting late, sir. Already, please, please, Gupta sir. Yes, Nangya, madam, please. Hello. Yes, madam, you're audible. Hello. Yes, you are audible, madam. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, madam, we can hear you. I am audible. Yes, madam, you are Hello. audible. Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Nangya, madam, you are audible. Yes. Yes, yes. Gupta, sir, just Gupta, sir. Yes, Gupta. I am Professor H.S. Gupta from Rajput. Yes, Gupta, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, hello. Who is likely to... Gupta, sir, bully. Gupta sir, आप बोलिए एक मिनट. Gupta ji, Professor S. S. Gupta ji, please. हाँ, uh, yes. Uh, yes I would like to say a few yes, words yes, more on the most key aspects about Dr. Agar. Uh, two words. I am speaking. I am speaking. Yes, yes. Please. Okay, 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 okay no problem. Sunai Naipada. Sunai Naipada, Am I audible? Yes, you are audible, sir. Sunai Naipada, I am saying. You are audible. Sunai Naipada. Sir, what has to be done? I think uh, uh, Professor Sudesh Nangya ji is waiting, I think. Ma'am is waiting. Yes, Nangya, madam, please. Ma'am, uh, Nangya, ma'am has informed me right now that her phone is not working properly. So please excuse her. First of all, I would like to say that he was honest, he was very precise. He was
I Whom think do that you one problem is... Who do you want to see? Yes, Gupta. Yes, yes, Gupta Ji, you say. Gupta Ji? I'm a chess Gupta. Hello. Please speak. Yes, I'm listening. Yes, I'm listening. हाँ नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम है लाइट नहीं है मेरी है मेरे हैं जी जी अच्छा बी बीच में मेरा ग्रुवाल वाज आनेस टू दी को अच्छा एंड ही वाज योगी ही वाज जे ट्रू योगी विच आई से वाज जे योगी ये ना ब्रीड वांस Dr. B. K. Sarvastav asked me to write a query in Hindi about Dr. Agarwal. So I thought, what should I write? Rather than going in detail, I wrote that he was a yogi in every respect. Sukh, Dukhe, Samet, Kritwa. Dono mein, in both the things. Whether it was happy, good news. Whether it was, he was never very happy, he was. Uh, whether it was bad news, he was not very down. Whenever I saw him, he, he was very much composed. In my kinder's trial, in geography, teaching, cartography, and field work, in all the three fields, he was very precise and ex rather expert, I would say, of those days. As regards teaching, he was very sincere and wanted that the teachers of the department and teach the students very sincerely. Secondly, as regards of cartography, he has not only written the Hindi translation of Monkhouse book, but he himself was an expert in this field. Although those days GIS was not prevalent, first GIS was developed by Roger Tomlinson in late 1960s. Uh, it was computerized GIS, but when the data about uh, Uh, this remote sensing data it started coming to join together and it was yes. the GIS. Yes. Yes. But those days these data were not available. GIS is an extended form of cartography and Dr. Agrawal was an expert in cartography. His field work of Bastar district those days, Buster District, now it is a region, uh, Commissioner Gate. Buster is a guide, guidance for not only for anthropologists, all the surveyors, even government used to consult his book. He discrossed Buster was very inaccessible those days when he was a research scholar. So it gave, goes to his credit, not to me, when he started paper, paper on regional planning, he asked me, in fact, the concept was not very clear to me. It is not clear to many of us, even now, when Fred Mann wrote, wrote that it is, and, 
one line of Ajal I would like to quote. The tree knows how to do it <coughs> and no one knows the, how, what it is. So because of this, I was afraid to start this, but with the help of Dr. Agarwal, I prepared a syllabus and started its teaching. That was that I was given this task, which started me, guided me in many ways. The honesty, many things have been said about. Please conclude, sir. I have met Dr. Sarmal Sarma Saral about Dr. Agarwal in all the aspects of life, from kitchen to the bath from his childhood to his but only thing I will say that he was man and honest in every day. Thank you very much. Oh. I don't th I think that uh, I was audible because the network problem is here. Light is not in my house this, this time. Uh, th thank, thank you me. very much. Thank you very much, Gupta Ji. Now, Professor Chavan, please go to next. Yes. Uh, Dr. Devendra Pratap Singh, you want to uh, say something, uh, convey something on this? Two informations only. Number one, our the 40th, 40th episode is scheduled on the 30th of uh, this month. 30th of this month. And it will be devoted to uh, Professor P. Pandey mm -hmm. of Ranchi University, Ranchi. Second, that uh, uh, Madhul City Bodh Gaya is going to organize a, a meeting uh, for organization of Saga. The meeting of organizing committee is scheduled, uh, scheduled on 19th of this month. And 19th of this month, many things will be uh, finalized about, about the first meeting of Saga, first conference of Saga. Uh, which we propose to organize in Madhavu City Bodh Gaya in last week of November. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you, madam. Only two information. Thank you, sir. I request Uma Gode, madam, to please propose both of them. Professor Uma Goleji. Please carry on, madam. Professor Uma Kolej ji, 
is visible see is visible here but i don't know uh, network problem is a see is uh, uh, speaking also but not uh, audible okay okay he is speaking also professor chavan so is there professor gole please unmute yourself नहीं मैडम आवाज आ रही है आवाज आ रही है एकदम प्रॉपर यस मैम यस मैम यस मैडम thank you so much uma bole madam i hope you have concluded your vote of thanks okay i now invite i now invite kaveri tabadkar madam professor at post graduate college bilasa chatisgarh thank you madam and i audible because there is a way i am i am traveling right now if i am audible then i Yes, you are audible. You are audible. Yes. Okay. थैंक यू बिला जी थैंक यू सो मच कावेरी मैडम ओके मैडम